what's going on everybody as you can see behind me we are down at the range today we're going to go through each tier 6 weapon and just go through and compare the energy of them how much penetration they can get the accuracy of them we're gonna go through each one shoot some stuff and see how they compare next to each other right down beside me got my trusty steed with all my trust i just noticed how do guns fit in this little box anyway up first, we have the Steyr SM-12, aka the 300 Win Mag. We're going to see how this bad boy does against its competitors. I guess I'll put the top of the scope kind of on that board so I can try to make it as fair as possible. All right, let's go 50 yards. 4, 6, 55, okay? Yes, there will be cuts in between me going from 50, 100 to 150 to 200 because I got to write this stuff down. I can't remember it all. 100 yards. 45, 61, 150. Oh, I should just lay down. Why am I not laying down? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here, a little more steady now. 44, 58. And last but not least, 200. We have 43, 64. So within 150 yards or so, it drops 291 joules. Wow. Now I want to look at the accuracy. I know this thing is pretty accurate. And the way I tell about the accuracy is when you hit the hunter sense and your little light there, the green, blue little light. However much bigger it is, the less accurate in the gun, at least from my experience. Because I like to use the 30 odd six, the old 30 odd six. And man, that circle is pretty large, especially the further out you go. So accuracy, pretty good. Now, let's go shoot something. Now, I am going to stick with the tier 6 animals. I know each animal on each map is different when it comes to hit energy and stuff to get a good kill. But in a sense, they're all the same. Except the Cape Buffalo, man, and the, uh, and the Wood Bison. They're freaking tanks. But what I really want to look for is penetration. How much penetration we get from how far away we are. And if you're not sure how much hit energy an animal needs... For example, it says right there, recommended hit energy, 356, you know, to 1068. Of course, we're not going after them. Let's go with a lion. Recommended hit energy, 4223 to 5763 joules. And if you don't feel like going inside the encyclopedia trying to find all that, you can always just look at the animal. Of course, if you're playing on ranger mode, any of them higher difficulties, you're not going to have 100 cents. But up in the right-hand corner, your hit energy, it'll turn yellowish or whatever. And that is telling you that you have more than enough i just thought i'd throw that out there just in case people were confused now i need this big boy to turn a little bit wind's going right towards him this is perfect it's probably gonna keep walking but that's okay yeah boy i thought he was he might be pissed is he coming after us oh no whatever shall i do quick let's lay down the weeds he might not get us no god please no no oh shit there he is <laughs> Oh my, that was always... Oh, my mustache just kissed his nose. Holy smokes, talk about a heart stopper. I saw my life flash before my eyes. Wow. Um... Um, I think, uh... I think this was from me doing some science. Yeah, anyway, anyway. Okay, so penetration. We hit a bone, so that's gonna affect it a little bit. We hit double long, and then our jewel level, the box and stuff down in the right-hand corner, where it says current hit energy, hit energy, recommended hit energy. The recommended hit energy is the tan yellow rectangle there, so we are dead nuts on the money with that. Uh, definitely not with this one. So penetration, good. It passed. Next on the list, we have the Remington 700 Long Range. It's a 300 Win Mag, and personally, I am not a fan of this weapon. I just... I don't know why. I love Remington to death, but just something about it. I mean, look how... I mean, it's not inaccurate, but I personally love the other 300 Win Mag way better. Either way, 50 yards. We have 4,656. One Hondo, 4,562. One Fede, 4,461. And two Hondo, 4,360. Eight. Now this rifle does slightly, very, very slightly, very little bit beat the other 300 Win Mag, but I still choose the other Win Mag over this one any day of the week. I haven't used this weapon in so long. I forget what it sounds like. There's moose in here somewhere. Where are you? Oh, right in front of my face. It's a long range. It says it's long range, but this is going to be short range, I guess. Oh, you bastard. All right. Remington, don't let me... Say, I kind of like that. Oh, there's another one. Ah, he looks way too good to shoot. I like the sound of this thing. 
I guess when I used this, it was when the game pretty much first came out and this gun was not, I don't know, it just wasn't there. But I mean, it's not too bad. I like the sound of it, but I personally would still pick the other one. What was that, from 100 yards? All right, got some good pendo right there. Got other lung. It was from 104 yards. 64, 22, I'll take that. What happened to my legs? Remington Long Range, you passed the test. And up next, we have the Steyr Carbon CL2, as known as the 338 Lapua Mag. 50 yards, 5991. Oh my, that's overkill. Yeah, our wind mag from 50 yards was only 4,655. So uh, this bad boy has no issues reaching out and touching something. 100 yards, we have. 58, 75, 150 yards, 57, 59. We have an elk laughing at us right now from 200 yards. 56, 45. Yeah, the uh, numbers between the 300 wind mag and this bad boy are exponential. Accuracy, not bad. I think the wind mag is a little bit more accurate, but hey, man, there's nothing wrong with this thing at all. If you're gonna do any long range shooting, I highly recommend this Lapua. Want the star, that's gonna work just, f holy shoot, where do they come from? Four, ah, oh, you bastard. It's always a plus getting a five, even when we're in science class right now. I might have to take it three, Zealand broadside. All right, hell with it, let's do it. It's for the video, for science, Never mind. Get ourselves adjusted here. And of course, when I move, he turns around. Hey, this might work pretty good though. Look at that giant dude. Shitty angle, but we have a Lapua. And don't be scared to shoot this thing in <laughs> shitty situations just like that. If I was using a tier 5 weapon, I would have never took that shot. I respawned him. That doesn't really count. We can't really see the penetration. I mean, it didn't go all the way through. But that's a lot of bone there. Looks like we got to get another one. Oh, another nice test subject. I mean, moose. Here we go. I want to get into his meat and potatoes just to make this test legit. I don't know if this bullet can go through them bushes and whatnot. Here we go. Still dropped him. I love this thing. If I could kiss it, I would. Mwah. Yeah, I'd say the Lapua passes the test with flying flipping colors. Double lung. Hit the ribs on his other side. I'd say she passes. Up um, next, we have the Remington 673 guide rifle, also known as 350 Rem Mag. I honestly like this gun. I really do. Now, let's just see how she performs. Shimmy on into my little spot here. Good enough. Okay. 50 yards. Four. Four. Four, two. Oh, by the way, before I hear anybody crying in the comments, you're not exactly 50 yards, you're not exactly 100 yards, blah, blah, blah. Dude, who cares? Anyway, 100 yards, 42, 64. 150 yards, 40, 62. Two hundo, 38, 8, 1. So far, this bad boy is the weakest out of all of them, and I believe it is going to be the weakest. Accuracy-wise, yeah, not so good. See what I was talking about? The circle, how big it is. There is a damn elk down here making all kinds of ruckus. I'm getting sick of it. I'm up there in the cabin trying to go to sleep and whatnot. There that sucker is. And of course he's a four. I bet you he becomes a five. We might, you know what? We might sleep and wait a little bit, see if he does become a five. And we'll take him with this 350. <laughs> Make a damn liar out of me of... Horse. Forget you then. Here's a good example about the dot. So, I mean, we're not too far away. Let's say we're like, I don't know, 300 yards away and you're trying to make a shot. That thing makes it pretty hard to get a good shot on. I usually just turn it off though, honestly. That thing sounded like a pellet gun. I think it was enough though. I don't even know what he was, to be honest with you. I'm just, I'm going to say adult though. That's a young one. I think the 350 did it, boys. Sounds like a pellet gun though. Compared to the other three, holy smokes. That wasn't even a good angle, but the 350 passed the test. I feel like I wouldn't even aim in there. I, I don't know. Whatever. I thought I was aiming a little high, but that's okay. Penetration. Pretty good penetration. Well, about midway, but it's enough. You know what I mean? It's enough. I mean, you can kill a moose with a 30-30. I've done it before. Got a video on it, actually. Penetration. Passed the test. 350. You pass. Last but most certainly not least, and this is probably by far my favorite weapon. Tier 6 wise, that is. And that, my friends, is the Steyr Malachia CL2 full stock, chambered in 9.3 by 6.2. And this bad boy, oh, ho, 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 ho. 
They just put it in the game and I mean, right off the bat, look how that, look at the accuracy. That's nice. 50 yards, we have 4,549 joules. 100 yards, 4,313. 150, 4,069. 69, yeah, boy. 200, 3,854, wow. They're from 200 yards, the 350 is actually more than the man. <laughs> so this bullet drops quick. Oh, that reminds me. You can go in to your encyclopedia and look at your ammo. See all the bullet drop. There's your tree, Fede. 9.3, but 62. Okay, that's got a crazy bullet drop on it way more than the 350 i'm no expert by any means but i'm pretty sure this bullet isn't made for range shooting long range shooting but it sounds wonderful and it takes down some animals yeah i can't get enough of that what's your all's favorite tier six gun or do you even use tier six weapons i personally i like using tier five weapons on tier six animals it just makes it funner but if you have a favorite let me know although sometimes i don't shy away from using tier six weapons on tier five animals either i don't know man i don't, i get asked all the time what my favorite gun favorite animal to hunt is i don't really know man i just they're all wonderful i like to hunt and use them all but when someone asks me and i'm just like all of them everything <laughs> i sound like a dick you know what i mean there's a doll moose in there I hope he stops. Please stop. Please stop. That'll work. Get your gun. Get the gun. Get the gun. I think all these comparisons have been pretty... Pretty fair, you know, kind of accurate, kind of. Just for spitballing it. I mean, we're not here to get down to the exact science, you know what I mean? Just out here spitballing, you know, having some fun. Tried to keep everything fairly the same, you know what I mean? Hunted the same animal. I guess we were fairly in the same range-ish for each one, I guess. Like I said, we were just spitballing out here. There's our big boy. We still have that five star. I'll check to see if he's a five after this. Penetration. Very good. Very good penetration. I already knew the tier sixes had no trouble getting penetration in these animals. And we've gotten pretty much all low fitness animals this whole time. That's pretty cool. Let's go get us a five star, hopefully. Well, love to see that. Four stars turned into young ones. What a shame. This moose and that elk from earlier really did us dirty. That's disappointing. You're lucky I just don't blast you anyway. I mean, we could take at three just for the shits and gigs. I'm doing it. We didn't get a five-star trophy today, boys, but we got us a three-star trophy. <laughs> Maybe. And that's good enough for me. Let's see if he turns into a four or five. If I even got him. For real? Don't <laughs> you you see him disappear? Got a bunch of red traffic cones, so that's a good sign. <laughs> As always, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this. I'll, I can do tier 5 comparisons. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys give me. You guys are freaking awesome. And that being said, I'll see y'all in the next video. Goodbye.